Hi everyone, how are you? It is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for all signs of the zodiac, and it is for about the 20th, 21st, all the way through about the 25th. So let's see what we got going on for everyone. Let's see what we got going on for everyone. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. Please make sure, if you do subscribe, that that little bell is wiggling so that you will be notified for all of the posts that I put out there. For those of you interested, I will be adding uh, more personal readings for the time frame at the beginning of July. For those of you interested, for those of you that are waiting for a response from me, from a reading, I will be doing that tonight. So you will be getting your responses tonight. Because I just finished up my, uh, my schedule. So I will be... Going through that. All right, so about the 19th, the 20th through the 25th, let's go ahead and pray over the deck. First card, second card, third card. Six card. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, everyone. Hope you can see that. Yeah, you can. Let's go ahead and start opening up the cards. Nine of Pentacles. Well, well, well. Someone is very accomplished. Very accomplished. They're in charge of themselves, they're sovereign. When they enter a room, they get all the attention. They're commanding attention. They're stable. They're comfortable. They feel good. They feel worthy. And they're happy with everything. I don't know if you guys can see this, but baby got back. So some of you might be working on your booty and uh, it's starting to look pretty good. This is also the Virgo card, Nine of Pentacles, because um, Virgo energy does show up here as the earth sign. That's just my interpretation of it. And this is about building. This is about creating. This is about... Um, Dotting the I's, crossing the T's, making sure that the measurements are good. You know, measure twice, cut once. So someone is check, check, checking and rechecking everything. But there's a sense of accomplishment. There's a sense of stability. There's a sense of something being seeded for growth. And it's starting to show growth. It's starting to show interest. This could be someone who has their own business as well, and they're doing quite well. Very, very well. Very comfortable. What is the next card? Tower. Wow. Wow. The entrance of this individual, the... Um, presence of this individual is blowing people's minds they can't even believe it this may also have something to do with the home remember what i said building this could you have to destroy in order to build or because you're building you have to go through and you have to destroy you have you have to go through the destruction or deconstruction phase Someone could be losing a lot of stability here. Somebody could be getting thrown out. 
Uh, there could be an argument. Someone is feeling really, really good and all of a sudden they get a text and it's just like an argument. Or a phone call that's an argument. This could also be where there is an energy where, um, you know, heavy is the head that wears the crown. So this could be a reorganization. Uh, this could be a merger. This could be the removal of uh, someone in power as well. A small accident, a small um, electrical issue. I've said it so many times, um, and I'm an 80s kid, so uh, I watch Breakfast Club. And for those of you that know that movie, there's this part in there where um, uh, Judd Nelson is talking to Molly Ringwald when they're in their little circle and they're, you know, showing each other what special skills they have. And then Judd Nelson looks at Molly Ringwald and he goes, my opinion of you is totally blown. This is like your opinion of somebody is totally blown. Is it a good? Is it a bad? It's just blown. It's really not one way or the other. You are surprised that someone is, is either so good at what they do or they continue to persevere in the face of obstacles or... You thought somebody was great, but now they're like falling from grace. What's the next card? High Priest. Rules and regulations. That's what this is. Rules and regulations and hierarchies and governments and religions and all of this other stuff. Also listening to your higher self. Someone may be listening to their higher self saying, wow, maybe I need to listen to this. This is something that I was not expecting. You know, I, I wasn't expecting to get this type of information. And whoever this is, they're giving you the keys. They're giving you the clues. They're giving you the hints. They're giving you the, the um, necessary information to be able to restabilize and even regulate oneself to be honest with you someone is getting keys to an apartment a home someone's getting keys maybe after they were thrown out maybe they were too independent in their thinking and so somebody said fine you you want to be that type of person? Fine, you're out. And the other person says, "Fine, I'll just I'll just go get a place. I, whatever." It's the next card. This is also a Taurus card as well. This is also Uranus and Pluto. Here, yeah, someone is definitely getting um, a big welcoming. They are being appreciated for the effort that they put forth, they're being welcomed into a home, they have a new home, they have a new apartment, uh, they have a new place to stay, they're being very welcomed into society. This is romance, this is celebration, this is a birthday, this is a get together, this is a housewarming, it could be any celebration. I think for some people this is and I'm just going to give an example with what I'm going through. And I'm not planning on doing this, so this seems so odd. But, but what this looks like to me is someone is trying to build. They know they have to destroy in order to make it in the way that they want it and to be welcoming. So I'm going through home renovations right now. And I want it to be very welcoming to people who I invite over. So that could be for some people. Could be. What is the next card? Knight of Pentacles, an offer.
I am seeing somebody pull somebody aside and talk to them specifically and directly and on the side. Okay, like, I want to support this. I want to put money towards this. I want to invest in this. Might be a home. Might be uh, something that brings a lot of safety to the home. Because you're going here and it's like unsafe, unsafe, unsafe. You know, protecting valuables, so on and so forth. But then you've got this over here saying, well, let's restabilize it. This may be going on, but but let's let's you know access our higher selves. Let's access the feeling of safety. Let's access the feeling of feeling liberated and free, feeling value again. You know what is it like? What is it like, guys? You you tell me. How do you feel when you when you think of freedom? How do you feel when you think of liberty or liberation? How do you feel when you think of safety and security? How do you feel? What does that feel like to you? Does it feel comfortable? Does it feel like success? Does it feel like a victory to you? Does it feel like exhilaration? What does that feel like? I think that source energy here is, is saying step into the feeling of it so that it will become what it needs to become and just and get rid of this potentially but sometimes this needs to happen in order to see the contrast to feel what it is like to feel secure and stable and financially you know settled this could also be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. So we've got Taurus, we've got Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo here. It's the next card. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, well, Earth signs are, are really uh, making their way into this reading. There's an offer. Someone's getting a job offer. Someone is getting a grant, is getting a loan, is getting donations. Someone is really, really interested in what somebody's selling. And it may have something to do with creature comforts, uh, celebrations, homecoming, home welcoming, homes in general, feeling safe, feeling secure. That's what this feels like to me. For sure. Let's see. A promotion, more money coming in, people valuing what you're putting out there, people valuing what type of information or what type of, um, somebody's equating value to feeling welcomed, to feeling safe and secure. And somebody built it. That's for darn sure. Somebody built it. And somebody can't believe they built it. They're like, whoa, this is pretty amazing. You know, I'm, I, I was not expecting this. Well, let's do the four ones. Why is the tower here? No. This is interesting. No reversed. And for these cards that are reversed, I will read them upright for the clarifiers. But if they don't come in reversed, I'm not going to read them reversed. If they come in upright, I'm going to read them upright. If they're reversed in the main reading, I will not read them upright. If they're upright, I will not read them reversed. But a no reversed is a maybe. A no reversed is someone who potentially said, nope, that's never going to happen. Nope, nope, nope. Never going to happen. Not going to make it happen. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. You know, what they're building is stupid. It's, it's dumb. Um, I'm not going to support it. I'm not going to have anything to do with it. 
Wow. They should have. Should have been part of it. So those people that said no are now being unexpectedly shaken to their core about what this person has built. Now, the no in the upright is somebody who said no. Maybe, maybe this person said, no, I'm not doing that. Or somebody else said, no, I'm not doing that. And because they said no, it causes a shakeup. It causes a big shakeup. No, I'm not going to quit. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I am not interested. No, and no, and no. But I think somebody said no to this person in the past, maybe for an investment, maybe for you know, supporting them or whatever. And now they're saying, oh my gosh, I should have supported that person. I should have. They are really together on this. They got a good thing going. And I'm blown away by what they've created. Why is the high priest here? Joy. Joy. Because somebody took joy in a creation. Because somebody took joy in what they were building. Because somebody took joy just in their, their presence. People are listening to them as an advisor. People are listening to them as an expert. People are listening to them as a guru. Because they feel the joy. They feel joy in what they're saying. That it emanates from their very pores. This is someone saying, listen to your higher self. Listen to source energy. Feel it. Feel the joy. It's interesting. It's almost as though someone is trying, trying, trying to build something, build something, get something going, get something going. And it keeps going through these cycles of, you know, building up and tearing down, building up and tearing down. Somebody say, I just want it to be built up and stay up. Somebody's saying, well, feel the joy. Feel the joy in what you're doing. Feel the joy in your future. Feel the joy. Feel the joy. What is it like to feel joyful to you? You know, let's just say, for example, cuddling with your pet. Feeling pure love and pure joy. Um, going out and in your garden and seeing that your plants are growing. Pure love, pure joy. Feel that about whatever it is you're trying to build. And it will come. And it will come in very, very, very mysterious ways. And for some of you, if you feel the joy, listen to your higher self, source energy, feel the joy, feel, 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 feel the joy. This is what happens. Everything starts to pop into place. Why is the Four of Wands here? Libra. Someone is very, very happy. Um, a Libra is communicating to someone. A Libra is... Um, or equality, fairness, and justice is coming in with business partnerships and romantic partnerships. So a Libra person, because this Libra person is here or because the Libra characteristics are here, someone feels... Great, welcoming, joy, happiness, excitement. Here comes the offer. And the offer gets bigger. I know it's going from the Knight of Pentacles to the Page of Pentacles, but look at the difference. The Knight of Pentacles, that is a small coin. Look at the page, how big that coin is. And there's some reticence here. There's some... Slow moving energy here, but this page is like, oh yeah, I'll give it to you. Let's do it. 
I'm happy about this. Very interesting. I'm hearing it's a small price to pay for joy. What is the overall advice for this energy? Break the chain. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. You guys know how my readings go. I generally pick up the energies of the cards before they're even open. Rewriting the future. What are you doing here? What, excuse me. What are you doing here? What you're doing is you've got this repeating cycle of building, destroying, building, destroying, building, destroying. Someone says to feel the joy and all of a sudden you break the chain and you rewrite your future into something very, very positive. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, everyone, I am going to let that go here. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.